touch by the saints of Calvary, something's wrong. Amen? Because that should touch anybody. We thank the Lord that he was willing to go through the real thing. Even though we put on saints, Jesus went through the real thing for us. And maybe somebody has never surrendered your life to that same Jesus. I don't like to actually close out any service without at least opening the door of the church for somebody who was touched by this uh, by this particular program. Maybe you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. I just want you to stand where you're at. Your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. We're going to pray after this. We want to give somebody a chance who's never given your life to Jesus Christ. To do so right now. You know, if he could go through the cross for you. And you know, actually the presentation had it with some clothes on. In the real thing, he had no clothes on. He was humiliated for you. So surely you can humble yourself and give your life to him. So if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, I want you to just stand where you're at. And we're going to come, going to come pray for you. I want, if you want to give your life to Christ, I'm not going to move on this. But you've been touched by the scenes of Calvary. This is nothing but a faint shadow. But in that faint shadow, you saw the real thing. And you said, you want to give your life to him. I'm just going to give you just 30 seconds. But somebody wants to stand to your feet and say, I want to surrender my life to that Jesus. That Jesus who suffered the nails through his hands and through his feet. The spear in his side, the crown of thorns on his head, the humiliation of the crown. his father's face. You want to give your life to him. This is your chance. This is your time. payment and we have to do the other part. Jesus paid it all. He took the whole penalty on himself, Lord. He suffered the death that was ours so that we could have the life that was his. We thank you, dear God, that he got down off of his throne and took our cross so that we could get off our cross and one of these days we can sit on his throne. We thank you, dear God, that Jesus was willing to suffer the nails through his hands and the nails through his feet. He was willing to pay uh, the ultimate price, Lord. He was willing to suffer outside the gate so that we can enter in through the gates into the city of the New Jerusalem. We thank you, dear God. Jesus gave up heaven so that we can enter into heaven. I pray, dear God, that, Lord, some person who has not made their calling and their election sure, Lord, that this day, they will make a decision, Lord, that they cannot live another minute without Jesus. I pray for each person who is out of my voice, Lord, as we leave and finish this service, Lord, that the seeds of Calvary will have been impressed so deeply into our brains, Lord, until throughout the week when we want to sin, when we want to do what we want to do, we'll think about what Jesus paid for that sin. It'll make us change our direction and make, make a better decision, Lord. I pray that you would empower us with the Holy Spirit, as, other, as Jesus said, that we'll receive the Holy Ghost. We'll live those lives in newness of life to glorify you. Lord, as we end this service, Lord, we're praying to God that you will be with us as we get ready to go into to lunch, bless the food, and nourish. Bless the you prepared. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace, both now and forevermore, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let everyone say, Amen.